She doesn't look like a drug user. But several years ago, Brooke was living on the dark side. And I began selling drugs myself to pay for my habit. So I went to prison for drug trafficking. My children went into DHS custody. I was on a 10-year sentence. After serving a year behind bars, Brooke was accepted into Women in Recovery. Women in Recovery is an alternative to incarceration program for nonviolent female offenders who are facing long term in the Department of Corrections. They're women who struggle with trauma and addiction and in lieu of incarceration, which is very, very devastating. We developed an alternative. Women who are accepted into the program receive shelter, extensive counseling, career training, and job placement. They're taught the benefits of exercise and healthy cooking. The majority of women have been in their addiction for a significantly long time, and they have not learned healthy practices in their life, and so this really allows us to enhance the teaching and education, as well as supporting the efforts that we think are necessary for them to incorporate into their own lives. Many women in the program don't know how to grocery shop and plan balanced menus. They don't know a good anger management skills, proper parenting techniques. They love their children, but they don't know how to parent them. And Women in Recovery teaches all those skills. 84% of the women who come in here have children. Unfortunately, the disease of addiction often comes first and their children came second. And so I am so happy to be a program that is also providing very, very intensive services to children who have also experienced trauma as a result of their moms being in their addiction. After months of counseling, career training, and life changes, there is a graduation ceremony. So far, more than 200 women and their families have been impacted by women in recovery. Tell Sarah United Way, anyway, this is Stephanie. Like Stephanie, you? who has kicked her drug habit, now has a full-time job, and a new relationship with her kids. You do become a better parent. You do become a better sister or mother. If I didn't have Women in Recovery to help me get where I'm at today, I don't know where I'd be. I'd be probably be dead. And if I was in prison, I'd wait till I got out of prison and then probably would have died because I would have went back doing the same stupid stuff. <laughs> As for Brooke, she's reunited with her four kids, and as part of her clean living, she runs marathons. It's not dramatic at all to say that they gave me back my life. I would be in prison today if it were not for women in recovery, and I have no idea where my children would be. Oh, they saved my life. And my kids' life. I can wake up and have my family back, and they've changed my life.